Also Mad Men. Welcome everyone to video four of Be an Innovator with Dynamic Pages. If you're joining us new, we are going step by step to build a smart dynamic record page from start to finish. So watch each one of these videos, share your progress online, and get a chance to win some fun prizes. All right, so in video three, we took the very first step in starting to customize our awesome record page. In video four, we are gonna continue to customize this page, and this time we're gonna look at customizing it to be dynamic based on what kind of device our user is using to view the record page. All right, I'm super excited to hear from architect admin evangelist Leanne Rymel about how we can really optimize our real estate based on screen size. All right, let's chat with her. Thanks, Rebecca. And thanks for joining for our next video in Be an Innovator, where we're building these awesome pages for your users. So in our last video, we talked about how you can segment out different fields to show in different places, in different ways on your record pages. <clears throat> and use values on the page on that record to define whether or not those fields showed up for your users. But there's a lot of ways that we're gonna be really optimizing this page for our users. And the next one is on device. So there's a lot of times that you might want to choose when, whether to show or hide components based on, or parts of your page based on device. One of those might be if you have a component or an action that's really specific to your mobile users. Um, if you wanna make sure this is something that doesn't clutter up the page for your desktop users and is part of that mobile experience. Another might be to free up screen real estate on your mobile device. Your mobile screen is smaller, so you wanna be really thoughtful about what components you're adding to the page that are available on mobile. So maybe you have, say, a report chart component on your desktop record page super useful component, but it might be something that you choose to not show on your mobile page in order to really optimize that limited mobile screen real estate. So what we're gonna do in this exercise is we're gonna take a flow component, which is a standard component, and we're gonna choose to filter it on device and only roll it out for our mobile users. So let's dive in and take a look. So we're back in our Sunshine Chocolates org, and we are gonna take a look at this flow just because I like to give you a preview of the flow first. So we've got a really basic screen flow here, and I'm just in debug to give you an idea of what it looks like. We've got a few screen components here, like the lightning slider, like a text field and a checkbox. So that's that screen engagement. But now we're gonna go back to our project page, and we're gonna go to the app builder in order to bring this flow onto the page. So we're in Lightning App Builder, We've got our canvas in the middle, which gives us the preview on the desktop, but you can toggle to phone and get that preview of what this page looks like on our mobile device. This is really useful, especially as you're making sure to order things correctly as you're adding components and working with components. So we've got our preview here, great. Now let's go ahead and drag over our flow component. And this is our standard flow component. And then on the right, we can select which flow we're going to use. and because this is a flow that uses the record ID as a variable, we wanna make sure we check that record ID. Now, the important part here is that we're filtering based on device. We see our filter type is device, and we can say only show this component when it equals phone. That means that when I save this and I go back to this page, it's not going to show on this page because we're currently viewing it on a desktop device. And so we can test it. We can say, okay, it's not here on our desktop but let's switch to the phone and take a look at the phone and see what does that record page experience look like on our mobile. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Salesforce app for Sunshine Chocolates. And when I navigate to that record page, I can see this matches that preview that we saw. And I can see that flow experience for our mobile users on this record page. So this is a really simple and really useful tool to use to think about as you're designing these pages because you don't have to create entirely new record pages for mobile users, and you don't have to create entirely new experiences for mobile users. You can just kind of fine tune what is the information that you might have that's mobile specific, and also, is there too much on your mobile page? So go through, click through, experience your mobile page. Are there components that you should be maybe removing from your mobile experience, and really fine tuning and using that real estate thoughtfully. So this is just one more way that you can build these awesome dynamic pages for your users. And I can't wait to see the mobile experiences that you all build with these dynamic pages and filters. Back to you, Rebecca. 
Thank you, Leanne, for talking us through how we can optimize for device. All right, so my key takeaways from this video were one, that we wanna to customize to free up real estate on small screens so that we can help our users be productive on the go. Two, we wanna think about how we can streamline the, um, the workflow on mobile. Can we remove some of the uh, information in fields so that our user doesn't get overwhelmed when they're looking at all of that data on their mobile device? And lastly, I wanna talk about how adding dynamic components like this really helps us make um, this page work harder for us, right? It means that we can use this page for multiple use cases and we can stop creating lots of different pages to serve different needs. All right, so now it's your turn. In Leanne's demo, you saw how she was using that simple flow component and then she made it dynamic to only show up on mobile. So if you're looking to make that same flow component, we do have a video that takes you step by step in building that flow. It is linked in the trail mix. But again, this is about showing your creativity. We wanna see what you can come up with and build onto your page to make it dynamic and um, different for different devices, right? So. If you are looking to do a flow, there are lots of flows on the App Exchange um, that you can download and play with. Also, maybe you're ready to make your page smart and you can include an Einstein prediction field that is dynamic, that only shows um, you know, in certain times. It's really, you know, the possibilities are endless. So, to summarize, we are looking to see from you a screenshot of your mobile device with components that are dynamic and only show up on mobile. And then we want you to share it on Twitter. So use hashtag being innovator and sweepstakes to enter to win. All entries must be completed and tweeted to us with the hashtag by 10 a.m. Pacific time on May 18th, 2020. The restrictions do apply, so see rules for details. And then I know we covered a lot in this video, so definitely be sure to check out the Bean and Innovator with Dynamic Pages Trail Mix. Um, it has lots of extra resources and information to help you go deeper. All right, so, and then join us for video five of Bean Innovator with Dynamic Pages to learn how you can customize your page based on the user, based on who is viewing the page. So I'm super excited about that and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.